Hey everyone, you're watching the baddest man on the planet, Transaaron38. And you know what that means? That means that this channel is for adults only. So if you're under the age of 18, go somewhere else. Yo, what is up you plastic crack addicts? I'm back with another awesome Transformers review. And today we're taking a look at two figures. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at the new Bumblebee movie star, uh, studio series line. Bumblebee movie, Shockwave, and Ravage. And uh, these are the core class figures. I figure since the simple transformations, I figure they deserve both to be in the same review together. So, anyway, I'm not sure what number, uh, I'm not sure what number they were. Uh, no, they're just the core class, so they don't even have a number in the Studio Series line. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get them out of their cardboard and uh, plastic ties. Uh, I thought we are going to uh, strictly cardboard there, Hasbro. There's plastic still there. Come on, guys. But uh, anyway, let's get them out of their cardboard and plastic, plast somewhat of a plastic prison, but it's all of a uh, see through window. Like I said, you can see, just get in there and look at the figure and feel it in stores before you buy it. You know, feel before you buy. <laughs> anyway, let's crack them out of their packaging and see what they're all about. And, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Cue that awesome music intro. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, we got the Studio Series Bumblebee movie Shockwave and Ravage out of their packaging, cardboard pla packaging with plastic ties to try and get rid of plastic, but come on Hasbro, you're you using plastic ties still, but anyway, anyway, got these guys out of their packaging, and uh, yeah, these guys are pretty cool, right out of the box, and uh, yeah, definitely, uh, I'm surprised we didn't get, like, a sealed box for these guys, but at least they showed showed us what, what they looked like in the box. But, uh, we got Core Class, Shockwave, and Ravage here. Now, Ravage here, he does go into your uh, Transformers Studio Series uh, Bumblebee Soundwave figure as well, so, which, which he should have just came with him. Uh, but, oh no, yeah, should have just came with him. But hey, that is what it is on that. But anyway, you get these nice pack, uh, nice little box packagings here. Rabbit transforms eleven steps and core class uh, shockwave transforms and well, I just had a brain fart. Thirteen steps. So anyway, you get that nice uh, Cybertron fall scene within the packaging here. Um, basically, these packagings are just getting freaking pitched. Um, not too much worried about it. But I got a nice big back prop here from uh what was it wheeljack ratchet one of the two that i've previously reviewed um or brawn i can't remember but uh well i don't know but anyway here is shockwave and ravage and all their glory shockwave here he should have been a voyager class figure um i can see what they're trying to uh, guess see if anybody would, would buy shockwave but this shockwave they could have made him a nice voyager class figure that would have been nice um, but you do get his gun, his, his, uh, arm gun does get pegged in on there, so you can actually give him his, uh, iconic arm cannon gun, so, you his head right there, which is pretty cool, uh, did not see no Decepticon logo on him, I thought there was a Decepticon logo on his chest, but nope, no Decepticon logo, but, basic core class figures here, I figured I'd do Ravage and, uh, Shockwave together here, since they're, uh, simple, um, you got the ball joint arm here, you got the bicep swivel, well, and, uh, elbow joint right here, that's freaking good, right here for the figure, very good for the core class figure, uh, nothing in the waist, obviously the head does turn, and then, uh, obviously, you can, uh, take his cannon off, and if you don't want his cannon on there, flip it up the other way, there's like a little, uh, hinge here, but do the transformation, but you can actually hinge it up like this, make it look like a some kind of club if you really want to. It's a it's a thing you can do with it. He got his legs, ball joint legs. Uh, nothing in the thigh swivel because they pop off real easily. Hardly of a knee joint, and then you got ankle tilt, which is due to transformation. So yeah. So. That's not much going on there with Shockwave. 
and here is Ravage. Now, gotta get my uh, my sound way because because he definitely get, is the part that goes great with sound wave. I'm about to smack him stuff off to the side here, but uh, he does come with this piece. Ravage does come with this piece so you can finish Soundwave's cannon on top here. So that's a that's a good good plus on that. So there is Soundwave with these two figures as well. So yay for figures. And we'll put Soundwave off to the side. Here's Ravage. Take a look at Ravage here. Very nice. Got the Decepticon logos on his his arms right there, which is pretty cool. Love it. These little guns you will lose. Be careful. Be careful, guys. You will lose these guns. They're very small. And this little piece right here that goes on top of Ravage as well. Definitely very small. <laughs> Got nice little articulation to them. Get the arms, legs moving here. Even his jaw does open and close on the figure. His tail does go up and down. So yeah, so there is Ravage. So yeah, definitely you already see the difference in size comparisons with uh, the Voyager sound waves that I showed you. Now, here's uh, was it Thrust or whatever his name is. Lock Ravage over for size comparison. Just wanted to show you guys that. I'm trying to knock Ravage off to the side. Now, transformation wise for uh, Shockwave is pretty cool. I like it how he does transform. Go ahead and grab his chest piece here, unpeg it. Um, do you believe you spin his head around, but hey, I'm going to fix his legs here. Pull the chest piece out like so and this whole section collapses in like so trying to make sure and then this section here comes to the front this section accordion is over and you just peg that in like so Pouring it over. It's supposed to peg in right there. Come on, peg in. Like so. And then the arms, arms are freaking weird. Uh, you want to rotate their arms around. They'll slot in here. Come on. Rotate his head around there. My bad. There we go. Bring it up. I'm gonna bring this up. Peg it in there. It's weird how he he pegs in. It's it is weird. I'm not supposed to peg in there like so. Now, you just add this cannon piece, bring this piece back on this hinge, and you peg it into the back of his head, back here. I know it's not the best, but a hey, Shockwave's head's all right, it is sticking out in the back. But there is Shockwave's weak, weak looking uh, vehicle mode, his tank. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care too much for this figure. The other core class figures I care about is Ravage. But yeah. So he does have a tank mode. He got his treads. Not much going on with him. He's a core class figure. Ravage here. Definitely a transformation to him. You gotta get rid of his weapons here. Parts form him. Basically what you want to do here is basically... Come on. The whole section... His legs will rotate down like so. Arms, his head, tuck his head down in, 
like so. Trying to. He does fold up weird. He does fold up weird. So. Anyway, you make sure his arm's up this way. Like so. There's a little gray tab right in here. Little tab the first part of his leg right there. Rotate this whole section in. Like so. Bring that up. Right. I hate how this leg works. This leg is weird on this because you got to make sure. Bring it up on that joint there. And then you literally. Come on, focus camera. Like so. Bring that up. You got to bend that knee. It's really stiff on mine. Like right in here, this piece right here. Because this tucks up in underneath there like so. And then gotta looking at the instructions making sure I'm doing it right for you guys it's just nuts pick it in come on Ugh. go try to get that it's just just this transformation is just weird it's just weird bend that please bring it up here we go and bring that up there we go Try to clean up the transformation here. And that should peg in right in here. Like so, there we go. I'm gonna try to angle that. It's weird how he transforms. It, it is. It's very weird. Now we got it done, finally. Woo! Then the guns here, you go ahead and uh, peg the guns in on sides here. You can leave them out because uh, you can put them in Soundwave's chest with easier without the guns. And then this piece here, you can grab the tail. This piece here gets tabbed in underneath as well. So you got his cassette brick mode or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, you got sound wave here. Go ahead and pop them open. And uh, all you have to do is just stick them right in there. Boom. Ravage, eject. And he does pop out easy. You just gotta make sure, like I said, dude, those arms, you gotta make sure those arms are completely transformed right for Ravage. So, there is Soundwave with Ravage now. Super awesome to have this guy with uh, Soundwave now. And you actually get this piece to complete with Soundwave. So, yeah. Anyway, fellas, not much going on with these figures. I highly recommend these guys. Definitely finishes off your uh, Soundwave here of the Soundwave Bumblebee movie. And Shockwave, he's the weakest one out of the bunch here. Shockwave, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. I'm going to leave Ravage in his uh, cassette mode because he's pretty cool looking. Um, like that. But, 
I just don't understand why they didn't give us a Shockwave in a Voyager class figure. Um, just not sure why they didn't do it. Not sure why, what their intentions to do later on, no idea. So, anyway, there is Shockwave in all his glory back in his robot mode. And put his gun on him. And there is Shockwave. So, yeah, there is the Studio Series Bumblebee movie Ravage and Shockwave Studio Series. They didn't have no number for him, um, but it is what it is on that. So, yeah, now you got to get to finish your sound wave, which is awesome. So, yeah, so until next time. I'm your host, Transparent 38, reviewing the new Transformers Studio Series, Transformers Bumblebee movie, Ravage, and Shockwave core class figures. Very cool figures, highly recommended. So, till next time, I'm your host, Transparent 38. I'm out of here. Later. And Decepticons, attack!